Hey there guys, it's Rick Eusler here again with Airgun Web, your home for old school airgun reviews and where we tell you the facts, not fluff. Well, it's gonna be part two today of the Barra 1100Z 22 caliber in veil camo. Like, this gun looks pretty cool, I gotta tell you. And I was kind of teasing last time, I think the camo wrap makes it shoot better. Whether it does or it doesn't, we won't know. But the truth is, it does look pretty cool in the camo. I think I like the camo a lot better than the black. So last time we were just getting out here and just doing some shooting. Um, today we're kind of doing the same thing. Although, you know, I've been thinking, um, sometimes you guys like to see the good, bad, and the ugly, right? So um, my last video, I wanted to show, can it shoot up close? Can it shoot at 50? And it absolutely can. But I only shot with two different, well, like two different pellets, right? So I want to know um, how this is going to do with a variety of pellets. So what I have here on the table is I've got 1589s, both in JSB and H&N, 1813s in JSB and H&N, and then I've got some 14-ish grain pellets. I've got Crossman Premiers, and I've got the H&N Sports, so Field Target Trophy Sports. So um, we've got 15, 18, and 14, and I thought we'd just see how it did. I've not shot um, some of these pellets, so I, I really don't know. We're doing it right along with you guys here on camera. Now, what I will do is probably take a cider uh, just to take one shot to see where we're falling. And then I may go ahead and adjust with the mill dots and, and go from there. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with the 1589 JSBs. Uh, we're not gonna get crony numbers today, guys. And I know you guys are like, why not? Why aren't you doing crony numbers? Well, we will get to that. I wanna figure out what's the best pellet. Let's figure that out first, right? And then when we do the review, we'll have all this supplemental information. You guys can go back and reference if you want. but then I'll get all, you know, full crony numbers and spread and all that kind of stuff. But today we're just doing some testing. All right, so 1589s in JSB. Uh, I'm also gonna shoot probably three mags and then top off because I don't want to run off the valve. Um, let's start with the upper left target and let's just see where we hit. I am at 25 yards, by the way. Um, if I need to adjust my scope, I can do that. Let me just pop these out here. All right, so our first shot, let's just see where we fall. Oh, we're close enough. We're just gonna roll with it. Yeah, two more. Okay, other than one getting away from me to the right, I mean, that's really like that. It's pretty doggone good. Um, I'm gonna, you know what I'll probably do is I'll shoot two mags and then fill up. I think that's gonna be a more fair way to do it. And then we're gonna, we're doing six pellets, so that, that'll work pretty good. So I'm gonna go ahead and shoot the 1589s. These are the H&Ns now, and we'll see how they do. And I think one of the videos we'll do before we get to the full review is, we'll do like a whole video just shooting slugs to see if it can do it. We'll, we'll know once we do some crony numbers, we'll know if it's gonna make sense to try it. And we'll probably just try it anyway, because sometimes we are pleasantly surprised with what these things can do. Okay, right hand side top target. Um, these are 1589 H&Ns. Generally speaking, now I don't know if this carries with these new H&N pellets, but generally speaking, JSB is a little bit softer and H&N is a little bit harder. And sometimes a gun will like one over another. I've never shot the H&Ns in this that I remember yet. So let's see how they do. Seem to want to go a little right.
There is it. Yeah, I think I shot 10. I'm just going to clear this just to be safe. Yeah, that was empty. All right, so a little right, a center, and a little teeny bit low. But again, we're just carving out a hole, right? Um, and frankly, at 25 yards, that's what we, that's what we would want to see, right? I mean, yes, this is an affordable air gun, but even uh, at 300 bucks and, and about 20 or 30 of that's the, the wrap, actually. You can get it black for cheaper. But $300, I mean, we're shooting some really, really tight groups um, with both of these pellets. So let me go ahead and fill this up. We'll switch out to the 18s and we'll see how they do. Be right back. Okay. The weather tonight, well, this evening, um, it's after dinner, but man, it is absolutely dead calm. It is really perfect. All right, here we go. A little warm, but that's Texas for you. All right, second on the left. All right, we're low. Um, I am going to adjust, try and put them in the black. Okay. Okay, um, it could be that those first couple shots were because I just filled the gun, possibly. Uh, I did fill it to 3,000. Maybe I'll fill it to 29 going forward just to make sure we're not valve locking at all. All right, so on that last group, um, I filled to 3,000, which maybe we got a little teeny bit of valve lock on the first couple shots, um, but then it settled right in and gave us a nice tight group. So I think... Going forward, I'm going to fill this to 2,900, and hopefully we'll be kind of more into the shot curve. Again, I haven't done the crony numbers yet, just in the testing phases here. So um, I'm going to go, uh, I'm with the 1813s in H&N &N now, and I'm actually just going to use that holdover that I was using um, just a second ago. We're going to stick with that and see how we do here. Whoa, that was a serious flyer. Okay, um, other than that one that just flew sideways, could have been a bent skirt or something I just missed. Uh, but son of a gun, that was pretty good. Um, maybe our best group so far? All right, let me go ahead and top this back off and we're gonna do our last batch here with the 14 grainish pellets and then we'll wrap this up, be right back. Okay. All right, let's do these last two pellets. Now these are 14.3 and 14.6 respectively. We're gonna start off with the Crossman Premiers. Now, this is a pellet you can just go down to your big box store and pick it up. So a lot of people wanna know how this shoots. Generally speaking, the reason I don't shoot the Premiers a lot on camera is that at least for me, they're, they're not the pellet that delivers the best results. Um, usually it's JSB or H&N are the ones that are really giving me the best accuracy. And when I'm showing you guys a gun specifically about how to get the best accuracy, I'm going to shoot the right pellet, you know, and I understand that that pellet may be a little bit more expensive, um, but that's the pellet I'm going to shoot because that's what's giving me the best results. Okay, so I've got the crossman mirrors loaded. We're going to go left side, third one down, 
and these are a little lighter. I'm thinking they're going to fly a little high, but uh, we're just I'm just going to aim dead center and see where I fall, see where I land here. All right. Okay, man, I was really excited because I thought that group was going to be just awesome. It still is pretty good. We're going to discount the one screwball. Seems like we are at least getting one or get, getting at least one on some of these groups, but not bad. I mean, that's a very affordable buy it off the rack at the big box store, uh, pellet, and go home and do some shooting. Um, that's certainly respectable. So, if that's your thing, the premieres look like they're going to do all right. Let's go ahead and do the last one here. This is Field Target Trophy. And gosh, there's so many other pellets we could try. There's the RWS line of pellets, and um, Gamo's got a bunch of pellets, and I don't know whether or not we get all of those. I don't know. I do want to see how slugs are going to do, but before I do that, I will do some crony tests to see. If, if I think we got enough gas in the tank here. All right, bottom right, well not bottom right, third down on the right hand side, it's the field target trophies, here we go. And I think the hold's fine, we're just gonna go dead center again. And that one flew a little more right. Okay, I think, other than being a little right of center, uh, I didn't get a single flyer. That may, that may be our best group, I don't know. I'm gonna go grab that target, we'll look at it up close, we'll go ahead and wrap this up, be right back. All right, there we go. Uh, I gotta tell you, $300 air gun. Granted, we're only shooting at 25 yards. This was about pellet testing, not Long range accuracy testing yet, we're gonna to get to that. But, um, yeah, I think it likes the harder alloy better, um, which would be the h and which would be these guys here. I mean, that is a 14 sixes, this is tighter. Um, I can tell, just look at the back of the card. This was our 15 grain, 15.89 H&Ns. This is very good, we had a couple that were not quite there. Um, this one we can, if we take those two out, that's very good. Gosh, I don't know. At 25 yards, I don't think it matters what you shoot out of the doggone thing. It's gonna shoot good. If you're a Crossman Premier lover, um, short of the flyer, uh, that's a doggone good group. I mean, any of these could be brought to center with the scope adjustment and you'd be in good shape. Guys, I mean, I'm excited to see what we're gonna get out of this. I already know it'll do an inch at 50. Um, how consistently and how many shots you'll get doing that, I don't know yet. That's gonna be part of our you know, broader look at the gun. But I, I'm gonna keep coming back to that $300 price point. If you want this quieter, you can drop a moderator on the end. We're definitely gonna probably do that in our next video. Full disclosure here, you guys, I have not adjusted the trigger and I have not cleaned the barrel. 
So this is still essentially out of the box testing. I haven't done anything to the gun other than air it up and drive lead down it. So I don't know about you guys, but I'm pretty impressed with that. So uh, stay tuned for our next video on this. We'll probably do our maintenance and clean the barrel, put a moderator on it, start testing, uh, maybe shoot some slugs and probably do a little broader pellet examination off camera and then come back and give you guys the full skivvy on what exactly this gun can do and what you can expect to get out of it if it's something you want to pick up. So I'd like to say thank you to Barra Air Guns for sponsoring this video and also for being a just a, a great partner with Gateway to Air Guns, the Grip Review Program. They're providing products for both me and Angie that we can use and bring you guys some of this really cool data. So definitely want to say thank you to them. If you like this air gun, I have links to it down in the video description. So you guys can go take a look and if it's something you want to pick up, you can buy it direct from the manufacturer, which I think is pretty doggone cool. Guys, that's going to be it for now. My name is Rick Utzer here with Airgun Web. You're home for old school airgun reviews where we tell you the facts, not fluff. Thanks for watching.